Hello people out there. I'm a blogger from Germany and I'm speaking in English to you because of those riots in Cologne. I think all of Europeans have heard about those riots, which were nothing else than a woman hunt caused by Muslimic young men. They are obviously guests in my country and I'm now just thinking, is this the manner how guests do behave? And I'm convinced about the fact that this is not the manner guests should normally behave in a host's house. So I use the English language just to address those people who were involved in those unfriendly acts and disturbing the uh, Sylvester night of 2015-2016. And so I know that a lot of these people are not able to speak any word of German, but they are able to understand at least a little bit English. So. I chose the English language to address them and you as well, my Europeans. First, I will address my Europeans, which are you. We are living in hard times. Some countries live in harder times than other countries, which reminds me of George Orwell. Some animals are more equal than other animals. And the um, more equal animal is Germany in this particular case. Because our well-known and worldwide love chancelleress, Mrs. Angela Merkel, decided to just overrule all laws and regulations of immigration the international, the European and the national laws all together and as well and speak to the world, come to us, we love you all. And they came, as we saw. And they were not only refugees bombed out by several groups of ISIS and the Syrian government and the Iraqi government and the Kurdish people and the Turkish government. No, a lot of people coming here were just not refugees, they were migrants. Oh, what a wonder. And you can see bunches and hordes of them every day on the Pas de Calais when they try to enter England. England. Hello, England. This is not a European song contest. This is Germany calling emergency. I have English friends and I'm sure they will spread this video in England and in America as well. So. Be glad you're on an island. So in the end, if you uprise, you just have to uprise from the middle to the outskirts and outsides of your beautiful island and then you drive them all into the bloody sea and drown them like the Amada has been drowned. Now at this time, the wind and the storm to do it must be within your English people. Look, it's just simple. It's just like one book tells us, it's the clash of the civilizations. And the man who wrote it was a very wise man, I don't know his name, but his thoughts were very wise and we now all see they are fulfilled. He wrote that there will be a clash between our Western civilization and um, an ancient form of Islam, because Islam has in the end only one ancient form, which is the Quran. And the Quran is very straight and very strict. Everybody has to become Muslim or has to be a person second class. 
Quran is very clear and very simple. So, you're English and Scottish and Irish. You have the same problems as we have in Germany. But you have to remember your German, um, how to say that, roots, yes, because your English are Germans mixed with some Swedish tribes called Vikings in, and they went over to England and they feed the Anglo and the Saxons, which were the Germans, and the Normans, which were the Vikings, took place. So in the end, your English, you are uh, the best mix of all European tribes and cultures. Think about it. So, we have to stand up against this crazy politics, the, which is run all over through Europe because it's coming from one center and this is Brussels. And Brussels is a fucking dictatorship. Like, you know, just look to the fucking European Parliament and this is bollocks. This is a bunch of noobish wankers and, and wimpish liars betraying us from our tax money and spoiling it for everybody's welfare except ours. And so this is not only for England, this is valid for all Europe. The European Union is a dictatorship which plunders and spoils the taxes of the taxpayers in all Europe. And this has to be ended. And who can end it? We all Europeans can end it. What to do? Let's go to fucking Brussels, take him out, like this one member of the European Parliament said, and hang them, and we will be damn right. This is what he said to us people. He said, they find out your numbers, and they come, and they will hang you, and they will be damn right, or bloody right, he said, something like that. But in the end, what will they do? If we, we are millions, we have 300 million people in Europe, okay? Let's say from this 300 million, but we are more, 300 million, in all the countries in Europe, there is only 10% patriotic Europeans, which is 36 million. 36 million sounds a big number. It is a big number. If only this 10%, 36 million, will say, we are fed up in uprise. <laughs> what? Half of the armies, most of the police officers will join this uprising because the armies of Europe and the police officers of Europe are mostly fed up to, to eat the shit all the government and EU is giving them to eat because, and they call it duty. It's incredible and it's all over Europe. It's not only the mass immigration. It's a completely chaotic, stupid, uh, imperialistic and capitalistic European politics. Except a few countries, which is Hungary. Oh, I love Hungary. You know why? Because Hungary shows the hypocritic of the EU system. Let's remember. The refugees, so-called, I call them migrants, because when they reach Hungary, they crossed three safe countries. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm a refugee if I flee out of a war zone into a safe zone. If I reach the safe zone, I'm a refugee, I stay there. If I start to migrate from there, I'm not fleeing. There's no war there, I migrate. So I'm not a refugee any longer. 
just to make that clear, and this is what the Geneva Convention says. And the German uh, basic law, we don't have constitution, we have basic law, says the same. But, not a problem. You know? I was talking about Hungary. Hungary is a member of the Schengen. Schengen said, you have to protect the outside borders of the European Union. Now there come, this flood came from migrants. And Mr. Orban signed a treaty, Hungary signed a treaty, and they had to protect the outborders of the EU. So what they did was building a fence. They can't shoot all the people down. So they built a fence. What the people, what the governments in Europe say? Oh, this Orban, he's a Nazi. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Meanwhile, everybody who has a different opinion from m mainstream is a Nazi in all Europe. Have you mind that? Just look. It's incredible how many Nazis in Europe are. I thought Nazism was a German invention. Ah, now everybody can be a Nazi without being German? What is this? No, I demand Nazism for my people only because we are the true Nazis and you are Europeans called Nazis. No, you cannot be Nazi. This is specially for Germans and, uh, okay, Austrians. Austrians? They can be Nazi too, because the biggest Nazi was Austrian. Ah, okay. <laughs> I was joking. No, let's be serious again, okay? Mr. Orban was called a Nazi. The Polish government now is called Nazi because they say we don't want this mass immigration. And the next Nazis are in the Baltic states, okay? So now, we are facing the fact we have mass immigration. We are facing the fact that Sweden is overrun. They are closing the borders. Denmark's closing the borders. Hmm? Why do they do it? Because they have bad experience in Sweden with especially young Muslimic men immigrating and flooding their country. This is a fact. And if I talk about the fact, I'm a Nazi. But then I am a Nazi. I don't fucking care anymore. <laughs> you know, this is, you know, now I'm in the same mood as I run my blog in Germany. So now you'll be aware what the people are laughing about and why they love me so much. Because I just talk like from here to there and bath straight into the face. So what can we do? We can resist. We have to resist. First of all, we have to go to the streets everywhere. You see in Germany, Dresden, they show how it goes. This is the first step and we have to do it all over Europe. Yeah, in Poland, I like the Polish because these are patriots I, with heart, with blood, with everything. And we have to stand together as Europeans, as patriots. I don't want to lose my Germany and I'm very afraid I am losing it and I will not losing it without to fight for so there was one man in English history who saved the country from the Persian Nazi is Winston Churchill he said we fight them on the shores, we fight them on the beaches and on the landing grounds, we fight them in the air, and we fight them at the soil, but we will never surrender. He said that, and I take this word, I don't like Churchill, but the word is good. And this is what we all should think about, we should never surrender, because they declared war on us, not we declared war on them. They harm our people within, within our harmless society. And Cologne shows that we have to be vigilant because they are vigilant. We imported us people 
They come from countries with completely different values. Women are rapeable material for them, like dogs. And that's it. And we all have to stand against it. I hope you will hear my words. If not, you will hear other words from me. God bless.